Hey everyone, welcome back to KB Reptiles. So we are here today in Niagara Falls actually at a pet expo. So a little bit different than the reptile expo. So this actually has a combination of everything. So we're really excited to check some things out. And of course, we are doing our Pharaohs and Carry live at the expo. Um, yeah, so. so. Guys, check this out. Excited to see the reptiles today? Yeah, perfect. The, what's your favorite reptile? You like tarantulas? You like lizards? Very cool. They're not very happy being in here, but I mean, I can't blame them. I wouldn't yeah. be either. Carrie, what are you asking about? Well, we don't have any crusties, so. And, and it's pretty traditional that we leave the shows with something. So. Dear heavens. Can you guys tell us a little bit about your company? So basically it started with the fact that um, my boyfriend decided to bring home geckos and it just kind of blossomed from there. We want to share our passion for crested geckos and uh, lizards in general with Bring the people. Best ones. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Now where are you guys located out of? Toronto. Toronto. Toronto, okay, perfect. And now how do people get in touch with you guys, social media wise? So we have a, a, a website, um, it's nextlevelreptiles.com. Uh, but you can also like text us. Um, we have a Facebook page too. Facebook. Yes. Work on Instagram, it's coming, don't worry. Awesome, awesome. Our booth is called Macamazon. Named for Sky, our macaw. And Joey, our Amazon. And uh, so we've got the two parrots here at our booth this weekend. We've also got two chickens. Nice. Are you gonna tell the story or am I gonna <laughs> You're just a little interrupter. <laughs> and so we've got our two chickens, our silky chicken noodle and our Polish chicken nugget. And we've also got some adorable little uh, three-week-old ducklings. And we're all raising money for the Macaw Rescue Network, which uh, helps to uh, rehabilitate and re-release uh, endangered parrots in Costa Rica and also protect vital rainforest habitat. That's so awesome. we're we're having fun, we're educating and we're trying to raise money for a good cause as well and we're having a great time doing it. Oh my god. <laughs> This is awesome. You know, we've talked before how I want a macaw, and uh, it's so beautiful. I love it. I could just stay here all day. I'm going to hang out with you, with a bird on my head. That's all I need. Mike from Reptile Kingdom and he took us into the lair over here and we're gonna do a walkthrough and check out some of the animals he has on display here at the Niagara Pet Expo. Mike, how you doing today, bro? Good, good, good. good. I'm gonna start off with exactly what you have in your hand. What do you got here for us to see? Yeah, this is an amazing snake. This is an Argentine boa constrictor. Oh, I love it. Uh, it's rather rare. It did come through our rescue adoption program. Nice. Uh, but it, it came from a good home, a family in Toronto that loved it. Something happened, they had to, they, they couldn't take care of it anymore. Yep. So they, uh, surrendered it to us and we said that we're gonna keep this animal for our educational outreach program. That is awesome. And it's turning out really well. <laughs> so cool. Such now, a gorgeous animal. Now if you don't mind we'll take a walk through here and see what you got. I'm looking right down over here. This looks almost fake to me but what do we got here? <laughs> now, this is our African bullfrog. This is actually mini meatball. Yesterday we had the original meatball here. Yeah. He's even a little bit bigger. He's that is cool. a little bit of an older guy. That is cool. And now uh, care wire or diet why is even for them, what are we looking at food-wise? Uh, they're even uh, known as the African mouse-eating uh, frogs. So okay. they, they mostly eat mice at our place. It seems to be like the perfect mix yep. of nutrients for them. But we do give them hornworms and uh, night crawlers too. Ralph, how you doing, bud? Guys, you know we love our black and whites here. And Ralph's being a good boy and letting me say hi today. Oh. How old roughly is this one? Uh, this guy's around 40 years old, oh, between wow. 35 and 40, yeah. but I think he's a little closer to 40. Nice. How you, and what's, this is Buck. Buck? How you doing, Buck? Oh, man. How you doing, big fella? Now, 
Um, in the summertime, do you guys have like an outdoor pen enclosure and then indoors in the winter? Is that typically how it'll work with tortoises? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I spend my summer rotating tortoises between fences because the, I have so many rescue male salcatas and they, they fight. Yeah. So I have to make these tortoise runs for them. So but I love them. Yeah, I was going to say, you must have a, a deep devotion for these animals, lots of care. That is so cool. You are looking good, bud. He ate a lot yesterday. Yeah. He did. He ate <laughs> well, two I know. full cabbages, two full cucumbers, and three apples. <laughs> yeah, I know when we came in the morning, he was mowing down right on a cabbage right away. So that is that is pretty cool. Love it. This is our... Uh, right here slider, right? Yeah, she came through our rescue program, and we adopted her. She's a big, giant female. She's not very friendly. She just she lived out in the wild her whole life, and yeah. somebody caught her in a pond, and they said, oh, you know, it's an invasive species, so we want to turn her in. and. Uh, um, so we, we kept her and uh, she comes out to, to educate the public about you know why this isn't a good idea to purchase from a pet store. Yes. You're, you're supporting uh, something that uh, really isn't helping the animals in any way yeah. or, or the envi local environment. Absolutely. This little one's name? Uh, this is Lava. Lava. He's Very a boy. He's about three. Yeah. This is something really neat. We enjoy doing this kind of stuff, checking it out. Mike's got an awesome variety of animals over here. There's one more thing I want to talk about. Mike just released a CD with a band that you are in, right? That's right. You know what? We're going to go over and take a look and check it out. Before we get into the music part of it, Reptile Kingdom part of it, how does everybody get in touch with you? Uh, uh, Facebook, Reptile Kingdom Canada, uh, and uh, our website is uh, reptilekingdomcanada.com. Guys, make sure you go check them out. They're awesome. Now we're gonna get on to some music. Can you tell us a little bit about the band and the music? Yeah, absolutely. This is, We're called Unified Planet. Uh, back in high school, I was uh, real close friends with a, a gentleman that's an amazing musician. He reached out to me about a year ago and said uh, he released a solo album and he got an award for Niger Music Award for a solo album of the year. Nice. And he said, I, I need a drummer. He said, I can handle guitar, bass. He's got this amazing setup where you can do bass and guitar. Uh, just with one instrument, nice. amazing vocalist, and I'm the drummer. I got a lot of space to fill, but we already we rocked it out at the warehouse, our CD Sweet. release party. Yeah, uh, we're all over. Like he, he's he's posting everything on social media. So if you just Google Unified Planet, you can get our album online. We're on Spotify, Amazon Music, uh, YouTube. It's it, it's all there. And I mean, the, you know, we don't do a lot of talking when we play. It's about good music, but the name says it all. This you know, this is, this this is our is message. It, guys. What we believe in. Guys, here it is right now, real quick. They got all the gear, hats, shirts, CDs. Make sure you check them out. My brother, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Guys, make sure you check them out. Any questions, I'm sure Mike can help you out. We'll see you again, bro. Thank you. So now we don't have the Bearded Dragon today, but what did we bring? Oh, look at her. And what's her name? Sam, my baby reptile. <laughs> Carrie, what? This looks like something you might be familiar with. Well, I'm thinking this might be an appropriate shirt for me. <laughs> Guys, check out these little ones. What do we got here? They're North American Indian dogs. Oh my God! How old are they? She's seven weeks old. Oh, uh, and she is five weeks old. And what are their names? This is Aquila. And oh. This is Cheyenne. Oh my god, they are awesome. Thank you guys for stopping. No worries. That's Leia. Don't forget her. <laughs> hey, beautiful. There you go. <laughs> expos that we Carrie and I go to we love to check out the most unique things we can find and right here I'm here with Steve and Tracy's hiding over here a little bit <laughs> but we have to stop by the booth right here Lizard King bearded dragons not a bearded dragon but you know we have two at home Euromastics we love them this is significantly bigger than what we have Steve can you tell me a little bit about what we have here uh, he's an Egyptian Euromastic 
got him four years ago. He was 160 grams, just a little guy, uh, getting fed the totally wrong diet. Finally got him on the right diet, uh, spring mix, lentils, and he's uh, just under five pounds now. He's growing He's growing good, huh? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Now, your specialty from the booth here is bearded dragons and feeder? Feeders, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we do feeder deliveries all through Niagara. Awesome. Uh, pretty sure we have the best prices in town. Awesome. Feel free to check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Guys, you gotta make sure you check them out. All the links will be in the description box down below. Everybody's been coming by the booth over here. They're checking this guy out, he's awesome. Again, make sure you guys check them out, Steve and Tracy. So I flipped the camera around on Carrie and I made her, you guys all well, want to see Kay to. in the video, so. And she loves holding the animal, oh so God. here we go. This is, I mean, we have Euromastics like Barrows mentioned, but I mean, this is just a whole new level. He is just absolutely beautiful. And we forgot, what's his name? He must Tank. Have Tank, well, Tank. obviously. <laughs> there we go. Came back to our booth over here and we found a couple of little enthusiasts over here. Do you guys like reptiles? Yeah, no, maybe. Do you guys like cats and dogs? You like yeah. 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 Are you guys having fun at the expo? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you see some really cool things? Yeah. Yeah, are you petting lots of animals? Yeah. Yeah, well I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for being in the video. Can you guys wave hi? Yeah. Two of my favorite people in the wholest world. <laughs> how are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Good. This is Scarlet. This Scarlet. is Chico. And that's Chico. I got him from a breeder. Yeah. And uh, I guess it was a breeding situation that went wrong. Yeah. And uh, he said they were untamable. Un you couldn't do nothing with them. And now look. Especially him. Look at him. Look at that. That's he's, awesome. He's aggressive, but he gives battle wounds. <laughs> that's understandable. Yeah. Okay. So who do we got? We got Madison here. Who else? Abby. 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 Alex. Alex. And Ray. <laughs> There you go, guys. It just takes time and, and yeah. patience. Yeah. And, uh, and responsible pet ownership, yes. right? So what do we got here? We've got a uh, handmade hand fart. So exactly. Nice. It's formicarium. And uh, these actually have LEDs in them, and the ants can't see this color. That's so uh, they're actually undisturbed when you turn on this light. Yeah. So great for all those people at home who want the pet, yeah. want to be able to see it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Perfect. You know, it's really good for um, teachers as well and uh, students. Uh, and surprisingly, really popular with um, young girls, so 10 to 11. Yeah. That's why we're kind of marketing these prettier ones out here as well. Yeah. Trying to make them look a little less oh, rugged, a right? Little bit more yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, exactly. Is the new blue. I'm I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So guys, I'm here right now with Ants National. We just did our live with Basile, so we decided to walk over and of course do one for our channel. They want to show me something and I have to see it. We have a big colony right here. Maybe you guys can tell me a little bit what we got going on right here. Yeah, so we've got one eighth of a giant colony of carpenter ants. So nice. if you look inside here, oh, look inside wow. the nest, you can see them all in there. Oh, there um, so how many do you think are, like, would you have any idea number-wise? Yeah, the original nest is about uh, 15,000 ants. Oh, wow. They're huge. Cool. It's a big colony. So the connectors allow the um, colony to grow? Yeah, so like I said, I can connect it to this. And the cool thing is once you get a colony of a larger size, you start seeing that polymorphism come into play. So check this out here. Right here you got some media workers that I was talking about earlier. Yeah. yeah. This guy right here, that's a scout. Oh, have a that's a tiny little. You too. These little workers right here, scouts. And if I can find one somewhere, sometimes they're patrolling, sometimes they're guarding, but some of the super majors are around here. I believe there's one just in this bend over here. Look at that. I'm not really sure. They come out when they come out. I mean, yeah, they can't always be around. No, if you want to come look around here. We've got them all foraging around here. There's actually a cricket right here that has been sitting there overnight, just trying to get away from the ants. Oh wow! I kind of feel bad. It just. <laughs> I'm, 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 but what would you guys give them as a diet or a substantial amount of food? That for this colony, I usually use a small cat food bowl. Okay. A cat dish. Yeah. Or what I use in here, I actually have that little stump that I put in there. It's actually for the dry cat food or dog food. Uh, where are you guys located out of? Stony Creek and Hamilton. So, okay. Yeah. And best way to get 
get in touch with you guys. You're gonna do it online, so yep. you can either you know message us on our Facebook page, you can also message us on our website, we're always here to help. You can also give us a call, with all the numbers, all the contact information is on the website. Now, one last thing, guys, not related to Ants. Vasily mentioned that he liked the beard, and he had a beard, wow. <laughs> took it off. So, when you guys message them, make a comment below over here. Should Vasily grow the beard? Uh, yes to the beard. Yes to the beer. I don't like it. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, brother. I appreciate it. All the best. Man. Guys, All make sure best. you check them out. Awesome group of guys. Amazing animal. Ants, we knew nothing about them. So this for us, very educational. Thank you again. Oh, thank you for having me. Awesome. awesome. Vasily, out of generosity, the desire for the beer, <laughs> did not leave Carrie empty-handed. Listen, I, I think I may have a, a new hobby, guys. I don't know. Like, this is really cool. So. And we know Carrie never leaves an expo empty-handed. Never. So. <laughs> so now you have to get some ants. That's all you got. Get the Amazing weekend here at the Niagara Pet Expo. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. As always, guys, please, if you're not already, head on over to Instagram and Facebook, KB Reptiles 24. Give us a follow there. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. We appreciate each and every one of you. Have an awesome day, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys. Bye.